Okay, we need to talk about this. You can go and you can get whatever you want. You're an adult. But there are still laws that apply. You wouldn't partake of this while you're driving around because that's against the law. But <clears throat> this packaging is completely ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. It's plastic, first of all. There's, tab, there's a tab. You have to open it a certain way. I don't bother with that. I just cut it because I'm going to dump it into my little jug anyway. But that's plastic. You have to rip a tab. You got to do it a certain way. It's a pain in the butt. And and I'm stuck with this now. I'm, I'm going to be stuck with this. So, um, as I said in another video, I've stopped recycling. I The recycling industry is broken. So, I want to shake it up. So, I put my recycling in with my regular trash. I'm going to let them figure it out because I want them to get off their asses and do the job which they're not doing because we can see plastic floating on the ocean or it goes from UK to Indonesia or Malaysia and and these people will be like oh you should recycle recycling is great okay but if we didn't have to that would be better if we didn't have to recycle in the first place that would be better right if we didn't have plastic it would be better to not have it and to have to recycle it so this is the company, Humidity Co. And they make these little packages that this goes in. Why are they using plastic? That's my point. Um, you can see how you can't get everything out of it, right? You can tell that this, I wasn't able to get what I paid for out of the package. You can cut it and you can do it that way and get it out of there. But who wants to deal with that? This is a lot to deal with, and it's in a plastic container. We get in the mail, we get those circular flies that are like, oh, coupons for this, and nobody cares about those. And you see them on the street, or they get recycled. Use those instead of this. This is man-made. It's, it's poison for the environment and the ecology. And what am I going to do with it? I'm supposed to just put it into a bin, and then after it's out of my hands i have no idea what happened to it we're good people we recycle we do everything the right way but after that who knows after you've gone to the after you've gone and put everything in the right bin and you went to the store and found that certain box that the non-recyclables can go in because everybody's all green now okay but what about after that where does it go after that where is this gonna go when i'm done with it that's the point so i could save it i've stopped recycling all right I, if i get a package in the mail I get a box of something and there's bubble wrap. I take, I saved the bubble wrap and I wrapped it up inside of an old blanket that my mom gave me. She sewed it and it's, it was falling apart because me and my cat Bubba used it so much. So I couldn't use it anymore. So I took bubble wrap and rolled it up in the middle. I'm in Blue Jay fight. <laughs> and I rolled it up and put it in the middle of the blanket and then I, I use it as a pillow now. So, but this packaging is ridiculous. It's plastic. There's a, there's a lot to deal with, okay? And I'm stuck with this. So, this company, uh, uh, Humidity Company, we need to appeal to them. I'm going to. We need to appeal to them and say, this is unnecessary. And of course, and of course, right now, this right here is a huge industry. So, let's think about that. A huge industry is contributing to the failure of recycling because now everybody's going to take this they'll use it until they're done with it they'll keep it for till they're done with it or they'll empty it into another container and throw it away right so the companies are not helping with this because this is a multi-billion dollar industry controlled by the government and then you're supposed to just throw the plastic away when you're done let's stop using plastic let's start using paper those re those flies that you get in the mail that don't fit into your mailbox that you throw away anyway why not use those? Or why not say, I'm going to bring my own container with me. You can put it into there for me. Right? But we're stuck with plastic. So we need to shake up the industries. We're going to talk. I'm going to reach out to this company and say, you guys might want to change your ways. You're not being green about this at all. No pun intended. And we need to do that right now. Okay? Because our earth is falling to pieces. But... Climate change is a whole different story. A lot of people are really gullible. All right, go see what NASA and the UN say about that. They say that the way things are going right now, the ozone hole in the ozone layer, which is only above the poles, 
is going to heal itself by the 2030s. So all the fear mongering about climate is BS. Recycling is a broken industry and everybody will say, oh, look, you can recycle it here. So what if you can recycle it there? It would be better not to have it to recycle in the first place. That's the point.